by Pavel Volkov, Amanda Erickson and Amanda Erickson foreign affairs reporter focusing on the post-Soviet world email bio follow Chloe Coleman Chloe Coleman photo editor focusing on international news email bio follow October 30 at 10.02 a.m. The burning of a ritual dummy on the Kupalo holiday. It symbolizes the death and rebirth of the sun. Pavel Volkov, a girl during the Urilo holiday celebrations. Pavel Volkov, for centuries, Russia's pagans practiced their faith on the fringes. But lately, the community of Rodnovers, or neo-pagans, is growing and finding a home in the country's biggest cities. Russia's first pagans were largely wiped out by the Russian Christian Church 1,000 years ago. But a modern iteration of the movement was reborn during the collapse of the Soviet Union. The collapse of the communist system in Eastern Europe enabled a few small pagan movements in the region to surface in the public sphere, political scientist Karina Idamerdo wrote in the journal e International Relations. At the beginning of the 1990s, they gained momentum in virtually all ex socialist countries. Followers say their polytheistic faith honors Russia's Slavic roots and allows them to maintain a distinct national identity. Today, there are thousands of self-described Rodnovers in Siberia, Volga, Moscow, and Street. Petersburg. The group defines its faith loosely, pulling traditions and beliefs from ancient Slavic tribes. Though customs vary from place to place, many Rodnovers celebrate the solar holidays that mark the change of the season by dressing in costume and performing short plays. At some ceremonies, there are sacrifices, dances and communal meals. Rodnovers often worship in Slavic-style temples that feature images of the gods. At the beginning of the celebration on Kupalo, people make a circle in the pagan temple. Pavel Volkov, a man prepares for a pagan wedding. Pavel Volkov, a pagan temple in a field surrounded by a fence decorated with animal bones. Pavel Volkov, a girl collects herbs and flowers to make a wreath. A Kupalo wreath is used to predict the future. Pagans believe that the herbs collected during Kupalo night have special powers and can heal people. Pavel Volkov, an idol standing in the forest in the pagan temple. Pavel Volkov, after a pagan wedding ceremony, the newlyweds make treats for the guests. Pavel Volkov, a bear suit used by the Akruta members during their performance. Akruta is an ancient tradition of ritual dressing and special costumes. Pavel Volkov, an Akruta member in costume, prepares for the celebration. Akruta members dress as mystic creations and animals before the evening Kolyata celebrations. Pavel Volkov, a dance around a big fire on Kupalo. Pavel Volkov, the evening celebration starts with a ritual burning. Pavel Volkov, inside is the Washington Post's photography blog for visual narrative. This platform showcases compelling and diverse imagery from staff and freelance photographers, news agencies and archives. If you are interested in submitting a story to Insight, please complete this form. More on Insight, take a journey through an apocalyptic, never-ending winter and bright black world, see the big winners of Nikon's micro-photo competition from London to Tokyo, Anthony Karen sees cities in a different light.